we're going to do some uh, roof sheeting now. Before we do, um, we'll set up the materials that we need to use for the roof sheeting. Well, the first step in Archicad is actually the correct terminology is the surface. So we'll do that. Um, before we do, we need to download from steelselect.com. I'll go back to the home page to show you how I got there. So under steelselect.com, uh, if you go to texture downloads, um, you can see that they've got profile libraries in bitmap format uh, from these uh, manufacturers. So I'll just go to Lysart. Um, and we'll be using possibly something like Spandex. Um, Spandex, um, I'll just show you. Here's the profiles from Lysart. Uh, you're probably all familiar with normal corrugated custom orb. Well, the Spandex is this profile here. You can get uh, much larger spans. It's a stronger sheet. And that's what we've been basing our 2.4 metre internal spans on using of the for the Perlin spacings. So I'm going to download the span deck textures in bitmap format just through there. In fact I already have and it's sitting in my downloads folder. In a Windows system you might need to unzip that folder that downloads. I didn't seem to need to uh, on the Mac. Um, and anyway once you've downloaded that folder there we can go into Archicad's um, options, element attributes, surfaces start with. So this is a surface that we're going to create. When you get to your surface settings, change to stump something as a, as a basic uh, place to start from. Uh, I would think something like roof corrugated sheet mat. So we'll start from that one. It's only a starting point to get something, a, a surface that's similar to the one that you're going to create. Once you've got something similar, you can click New, and I'm going to call this one Roof Spandex. And if you've decided on a colour already, then you can actually give it the colour name, obviously, but I'm not too sure um, of the colour that I'll pick just yet. So Roof Spandex, Duplicate Roof Corrugated Sheet Mat, and then click OK. So that's made a new roof using this texture down the bottom of the box. Um, the, the specularity, etc., is showing up nicely um, in this preview up here anyway, so I wouldn't change any of these settings too much. Um, we'll just go down to the actual texture that's being used, and that's where you can click the search button down here to search for another texture, and you can load other picture. So if you click load other picture from file dialog box, you can then go and find the picture that you've downloaded. So I've already got my, my folder from my downloads directory, um, and it's the folder came through called Spandex. So if I just find that quickly, there it is. And you can go through and have a look at the different colours that you might want to use. Um, maybe no, I'm, I'm just going to go for something like this one up here. Now I've already previously downloaded that, so when I click open, nothing appears to have happened here. Uh, yours will. Uh, that's only because I've previously done this to check that it worked, so it will be underneath my embedded library. So once you do this process once, it goes into your embedded library. So I'll just pick that from there and click OK, and you can see it's changed my image file through here. Now the next thing we just need to double check on to do is that you need to have an idea of the scale here. Now this spandex sheet through here, you can see its cover width, they've got a dimension here for cover width. Its cover width is 700 millimeters. And if I imagine this rib sitting on top of the last rib through there, if I count the number of ribs that would be, it would be from that point zero, it would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 ribs. So it's 700 millimetres divided by 8 ribs. So that will be 700 millimetres divided by 8 
equals 87.5 millimetres. I'll just move that off to, for a second. So if you look at this image that we've got down here, um, you might have to get your eye in a little bit to, to imagine what you're looking at through here. But each one of these lighter coloured strips, you can imagine that would be the top of one rib and that's the bottom. So the next one's the top again. Okay, and that's the bottom. So the next one's the top. So we've got here, if we start at this middle of this rib here, we've got from zero, one, two, three, four, and one more would be five. So let me just double check myself on there from that edge there. Um, the spaces that we're considering would be one, two, three, four, and then we've got half of this one and then half of the one we can start with. That, that would be five. So that little image there needs to have five of these. So if we go times five equals, that would be, let's, let's round that figure off to about 450 millimetres. So if we, that image there now needs to be resized to 450 millimetres. So if I swipe that out there and make it 450, the length, as you can see, wouldn't matter. It's just going to repeat um, forever. So if we just um, click OK to that, that's created a new surface for us. Now that we've got the surface, we'll now go to Options, Element Attributes and make the building material. The building material references back the surface. So if we go into building materials there, and if we start off with something similar, um, steel deck, we could probably even just modify steel deck. Um, but let's just uh, create a new one by clicking on new. And if you change the name to, let's call it uh, roofing span deck. And duplicate steel deck sounds like a good place to start. So if we click OK, Roofing span deck. Um, we probably won't change too much except for the surface here. So if you click in there and fly up the surface and pick the one that you've just made called roof span deck, that changes that to the surface in there. And we can just click OK to that and we've got a building material called roof span deck. Um, not too sure that I do want to change anything else, so I'll just click OK. Right, so let's create some roof shapes. I'll do that from the first floor plan initially. So we'll go down to the first floor plan and we'll create this piece of roof that sits over the top of these three tenancies to start with. So the command over here, the roof tool, click into the roof tool. Um, Okay, I've got a section view selected at the moment, that's why that didn't pop up properly for me. So if you click under the roof tool, layer roof general sounds alright. Um, we might use this um, single plane type. We won't use the multi-plane, we use the single plane. Our construction method, we just use a rectangle shape. Our structure, it's going to be basic, but I'm going to fly that down and pick, what did we call it, roof in standard. I've got my roofing span deck selected. It's going to be at first floor. Its pitch is going to be five degrees. We'll leave that set at zero at the moment. I'm not too sure what I'm actually going to make that. Um, and then the span deck material, okay, um, sorry. So just here, this, the thickness of span deck is 24 millimeters. So we'll set that at 15, 24 millimeters over here in the thickness. Okay, so we've set everything up. I'll just click, I'll just press enter. We've set that now 24, so now we have come down in here. So the first thing after we've gone and set up everything through here is going to be, let's say, on Y4. Just draw a line across, nice and horizontal. Don't get confused. So if you go on the grid line, make sure you stay on that grid line by zooming in. And it now wants to know it's got a little eyeball for the icon. It wants you to click the direction for the upward uh, slope of the roof. So if you click on this side now, it knows that that's where the roof's going to pivot from, 
and it's going to go this way upwards. Now you're in rectangle, you're in the rectangle mode, so it wants to know the rectangular shape of the roof. This is where I'm going to initially go from the outside corner of the fascia to this point outside corner of the fascia, I think, there. And it's basically placed that roof. So in 3D, uh, the roof is there. Now I'm going to go back into section view now and fine tune the height that we want everything to actually sit up. So on my first floor plan, I had moved my section view to go back through that area. So we can click on the section view and we can see our roof shooting through there now. And this is going to enable us to pick up the roof shooting and pick it up at that point there and drag it down if that's the level we decided we wanted everything at. So there's our roof shooting now sitting down on top of the pearls at that point. Um, so the only other thing I'll do now is I'd like to extend this another 50 millimetres past that edge of the fascia curling so that it's extend into the gutter. So if we go back to our first floor plan again now, and if you select the roof, at it. So it will select, select the roof, so the roof selected, and select that edge of the roof, and then change your pet tool to offset edge, and bring the cursor out in this direction and type 50. So that's extended that roof shooting now to be 50 millimeters out past that line. So if we go and double check that effect in the section view, that's what we've got the roof shooting doing. We're, we're building this structure up by discrete building elements to reflect actual construction practice. Some people might have modelled this as just being a simple compound roof uh, to include the space of the purlins and everything, but we're, we're using this as an opportunity to learn about um, all of the construction aspects of this building as well. Okay, so that's that piece of roofing in place, so I'll go back to my first floor pane. Um, Similarly, uh, we could now go and do each of the other roof elements as well, uh, or we could copy that around. I think we might go and do the other roof elements, so I might change to the roof level plan, double click in the pop-up browser. So that is the second level roof there now. So we'll do all the same things, we'll use the roof tool, all the same settings should be the same here, expand that roof 5 degrees. Um, so we can just go straight into it now. I picked this grid line as being my first click point. The second click point needs to be a second point along that pivot line. So it's just the direction of the gutter, if you like. So a point there. And then the eyeball wants to look up in the direction of the slope. So that's the next click. And then we can draw the shape of the roof in rectangular mode. So I want to go from this point here, out here now, and because we've got that roof placed, we won't need to extend the edge out into the gutter. Because we're working from this same point again. Now we've gone, looks like, yes, we've gone to the outside edge of that fascia curling. So we do the same thing again here the outside edge of the fascia curling. A little bit concerned that that fascia curling is not um, lining up exactly. Uh, I would have liked it to, so I'll need to go back and check that sometime later. Um, now I'll move that section line, drag, drag that section line across so it's looking through there, and then open up section one. Okay, so this is the one obviously that was moved up higher. So if we click on that, and then we go to Edit, Move, Drag, we can, I think, come to hover over this edge line here until it lights up blue. That edge there until it lights up blue, which will enable you to pull down to get an extension line. And they will need to come to this intersection here as my first point of my drag. And then the second point of my drag, I'm going to come up, hover and wait for a blue circle there. 
Okay, if I hover and wait for that line to light up blue, which will give me another extension line here, and I'm after that extension point there. So I'll move that roof up, making use of those guidelines through to there. 3D. And then you can see that's the effect that we've got. Don't worry that the purling lines are showing up through that roof sheeting. It might disappear actually. It, it, no, it doesn't still. Oh yes, if you go to the orbit tool, um, those drafting blue lines get turned off. Um, and you can see while you're in orbit mode, the actual materials shapes there. Okay, so we've got one more roof structure to do. I'll just click out of the orbit tool again. And I'll go back to my roof plan. And I've got one more roof to do here. So I'll go into the roof tool. All the settings should still be the same. So once again, we're clicking this grid line as our starting, as our first node of our pivot line. That's the second node of our pivot line. That's the direction upwards. And then we'll go from uh, a new so there must be an end point somewhere here for that concrete tilt up wall underneath. There's that intersection. Okay, I'll just put it from the grid line intersection for the moment, and then in 3D we'll be able to stretch it out to the right size. So this one's going to go to out to this corner of that fascia out there. And that's that roof in place. So the same thing, we'll pick up this section line move the section line through to that part of the building, open up section one, and then move the roof sheeting. So once again, I'll show you this process again. So if we go edit, move, drag, the reason why I'm doing this rather than clicking and getting the pet tool is because I want to drag from a point that's off this. In fact, I don't. Sorry, I'm mistaken doing this again. So if Yes, I do. I, the reason why I need to do this is because I, I need to get a guideline opening up first. Uh, it does, okay. So I can get that guideline to open up first and then click that intersection and that's the point that I want to drag down to. And then when I drag it down, I want to get this line lighting up blue so that I can come across in that intersection point there. So in all cases, the whole idea is to drop the roof straight down, but it using those guideline options. So 3D now, and I might just have to do a bit of a tidy up at this point here. I think that's, so if I click maybe this edge here, I can change to pet tool offset edge and I can offset that edge back to if I click an end point on that fascia pearl and that'll bring that back to the right point for that wall. So that's um, roof. 